Hello and welcome to today's science lesson number seven. So first of all guys, can we all turn and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. And now we'll begin with our meditation sequence. So teacher will sit down on his chair. Let's keep a straight back and then it's two fingers. Find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. Take some nice deep breaths. Feel your chest as it rises when you breathe in and falls as you breathe out. Last couple of breaths now. slowly open your eyes and come back to the room come back to the room okay and next we'll have a stretch so let's all stand up and push our chairs inside stretch sequence that's right we have a meditation sequence and then we have a stretch sequence so let's see what shall we do first shall we go up or shall we go down up Okay, so let's stretch up high as we can. Can we go tippy toe high? Very good. Very good. And then we'll come down and flop down to our toes. Touch our toes for a couple of seconds. And then let's go high again, high to the sky. Can we touch the sky? Not quite, but we can try. And then tip it so high. And arms by our sides. Okay, let's give a shake. Let's move our head round and round. And then we'll go the other way. That's it. And now let's give our arms a shake. And now, just our hands, move our wrists. That's it, exercise our wrist bones. Important to exercise our wrists if we have to write. And next, we'll give our legs a little kick. Alternate our legs, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, careful not to kick the chair, Ned. <laughs> okay. And now we'll, how shall we finish? Shall we finish with some star jumps? Yeah. How, how many? Ten. 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 Ten star jumps. Yes. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent, guys. Ten star jumps, that's a lot, but well done. Lesson number... Seven. 
Can anybody remember science lesson number six? What did we learn about? Remember when we talked about animals? If you go to the zoo, what type of animals will you see? Lion. Elephant, lion, dog. dog. You see dogs everywhere. We have dogs at school. Z giraffes, zebras. But remember the type of animals that we don't see anymore. Not in real life or in person. They are extinct animals. Remember the word extinction. E X T I N C. Okay, now we'll stop here for one moment. Extinct. That means an animal is no longer alive. They all die. And we can add to it with I O N extinction so what type of animals are extinct dodo how do we spell dodo d-o-d-o d-o-d-o i just heard you say excellent dinosaurs the dinosaurs are the main types of animals that are now extinct. What type of dinosaur did you say? T Rex. T Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. But we'll call it T Rex. Tiger. We have tigers on the planet. What was the type of tiger that's now extinct? Tasmanian tiger, okay? Tasmanian. And how do we spell tiger? T I G E R. Okay, I've got Pet telling me about the. What was this one? What was this? Do you remember? No. You're right. Very hard to spell. Do you remember the first letter? Terror. The first letter? P. But we don't say P. Just Terra. Pterodactyl. Any more? Last lesson. Remember one called the quagga? Quagga. Quagga. <laughs> Very good. So Q U A G G A. Any more? Any more from last lesson? Dan, any more? Sorry? Mammoth. Woolly mammoth. Okay. Dodo. Dodo. T Rex. T Rex. Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Woolly mammoth. Woolly mammoth. What type of animals are these? Animals. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Tasmanian tiger. And the quagga. Okay. Excellent guys, well remembered. What we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at another PowerPoint presentation because we'll see the extinct animals and then some that are not quite extinct but there's a special name for them. Okay? So we'll have a look at our PowerPoint. Everybody turn your chair. Okay, so today's PowerPoint presentation is called Extinction of living things. Extinction of living things. So the first slide. Some animals are almost extinct. They are dying so fast that scientists 
have classified them as endangered animals. Can we all say endangered animals? Endangered animals. What this means, does anybody know? Endangered animals. What does it mean? I'll tell you, it means they are close to being extinct, nearly extinct. For an endangered animal, it means that in the entire world, there is only around 100 left. So if we don't be careful to look after them, they will become extinct extinct yes so shall we look at some endangered animals here are some can you say endangered species in thailand endangered species in thailand species means a type of animal so these are some animals, there are only a few left, especially in Thailand. You see this animal on the left, what does it look like? Buffalo. Yes. Do you know its name? Are you ready? Kupri. Kupri. This is a Kupri. Kupri. It's an endangered animal. And this one, what is this? Does anybody know? It's got a horn. What type of animal has a horn? Rhino. This is a Javan rhino. So Kupri. Javan rhino. Are types of endangered animals good get used to the term endangered animals here's some more the one on the left does anybody know what it is it looks like a reindeer because it's a type of deer it's a Schomburg's Deer. Can you try to say Schomburg? Schomburg. 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 Deer. This type of animal, there are only a few left. And this one, who said dolphin? Not quite. It lives in the water. This is a dugong. 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 It is a type of endangered animal. So one more time. Schomburg's deer. Dugong. Okay. Good to get to practice these words. Ah, remember the first slide? We had a type of animal. Remember the animal with the horn? A rhino. This is another type of rhino. Not a Javan rhino. This is a, are you ready? Sumatran rhino. Sumatran rhino. Sumatran rhino. Sumatran rhino. Yes. And can you see the cute little bird next to it? Yes. It's not an angry bird. White eyed river martin. Excellent. A white eyed river martin. Why do you think it's called white eyed? because its eyes are white exactly you can see here around its eyes is white so it's called the white eyed river martin 
That's the Javan Rhino. Javan Rhino. Schomburg Steer. Dugong. Sumatran Rhino. White Eyed River Martin. And these are endangered animals. Excellent. Welcome back to the class. We hope you enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation and we now know that there are two types of animals that we are learning about. There is the extinct animals, can we say? Extinct animals and endangered animals. Extinct means no more left all gone endangered means there's only a few left so we have to take good care so teachers for the next activity you need to have printed off the flashcards and cut them into individual cards one per animal we're going to play a game okay we need to divide our students into teams of three or four but well, first of all, we'll just speak the vocabulary one more time. Ready? What? Dugong. Kupre. Quagga. Brachiosaurus. Very long neck. Brachiosaurus. Tasmanian tiger. Dodo. White Eyed River Martin Sumatran Rhino Schomburg's Deer T-Rex Woolly Mammoth Javan Rhino To go What you need to do is give each team of students for me i have nine students so we have team one one two three team two one two three students and team three one two three give each team a set of flashcards and they have to decide whether it is a extinct animal or a endangered animal and then they have to write the sentence on the flashcards ready this is an extinct animal or endangered animal so you have to decide which one it is for each animal and because the animals will be on individual cards we lose the s okay so team one here are your flashcards. have a look and decide if they are extinct or endangered team two here are your cards. You can divide them up between and then decide. Team three. Okay, so teachers, you can give your students around 10 minutes for this activity and help them with any spelling or writing, but they should be following what you've already put on the board. Okay, guys, so if you think it's extinct, extinct animal. And if it's endangered, endangered animal. So what do you think, Dodo? Endangered or extinct? Extinct. So, so.
So let's see. Endangered. 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 All of yours are endangered. So you need to write the bottom one. You need to write. Yes. No. Students, when you have your cards, you need to write, if you think it's extinct, like dinosaur, so you write on the cards, this is an extinct animal. But if you think it's endangered, like Sumatran rhino, it's this is an endangered animal. So let's see what you have. Dodo, extinct. These three, endangered. This one, extinct. Extinct, extinct. All of yours, all of yours, extinct. Endangered, 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 animal. So you can write. So can you write the sentence? Dodo, extinct. Endangered, 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 extinct. Mm. So now when you sort your cards, you can write. Quagga, extinct, extinct. All of yours, apart these three, extinct. This one, endangered. This extinct. Extinct, excellent pet. Extinct. These three, endangered. Endangered, extinct. Extinct, extinct, endangered. These two endangered. These two extinct. 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 Endangered. Endangered. Extinct. Okay. Tasmanian tiger. Extinct. Extinct. Endangered. This is extinct. So change that to an extinct. So net that one extinct. And then after this activity you have to draw your animal. Hello and welcome back to class. We hope you and your students had a good activity sorting out the extinct animals from the endangered animals. And tell your students they can keep the cards, they can take them home to show their families. So now we need to do our stretching sequence. So can we all please stand up? And what we'll do now, we'll put our hands on our hips and we'll give a little shake. Stop. Another shake. Stop. Backwards and forwards. Stop. Backwards and forwards again. Stop. And now we'll give our arms a shake. And let's go like this. Watch yourself. And now we'll alternate our legs left and right. Left and right. Left and right. And to finish, we'll jog on the spot for the count of five. One, 
two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. And now for the final activity. This one's quite simple. All that you need to do is give your students a piece of blank A4 paper. Ask your students to think about all of the animals that they have seen in this lesson and the previous one. Your student can then draw that animal and tell you is it an extinct animal so if they draw a tyrannosaurus rex or a dodo it's an extinct animal but if your student wants to draw i don't know a tiger or a lion it's an endangered animal but that's up to your students to decide they can think for themselves so here you go, Nadia. Down. Yes. Bang point. Yes, you can draw. Net. Yes. You can decide what animal you would like to draw. You can draw a dinosaur. One. T Rex, yes. Is T is T Rex endangered or extinct? Extinct, that's correct. So give your students around ten minutes, just a drawing activity to help them understand the difference between extinct animals no longer left and endangered animals, only a few left. And they've got a few examples now to think of so they can decide for themselves. So just monitor your students and then come back to the room about 10 minutes and we should be ready to finish. You have your flashcards. Okay. Sean Burke's deer. Is that extinct or endangered? Excellent. That's correct. Pack one, you're doing the dodo. Or the dugong. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Two. What animal are you doing? Two. T Rex. Two. Okay. Hello. Hello. And which animal are you doing, Prel? You're doing Schomburg's deer. Is this endangered or extinct? Endangered. Excellent. It looks to me like Ned is doing a dinosaur. What animal are you doing, Ned? Brachiosaurus. Very good. And this is a dugong. Is this animal extinct or endangered? Endangered. Very good, yes. There's only a few left. Or oh, woolly mammoth. Is this animal extinct or endangered? Extinct. Extinct. Excellent. Down, what's your animal? Dugong. Is this extinct or endangered? Endangered. Excellent. It's endangered. There's still a few left. And Nadia, you're doing the Dodo. Dodo. Is Dodo endangered or extinct? Extinct. Excellent. That's very good. Okay, guys, we'll wrap up in a minute and we'll say goodbye. If you haven't quite finished your picture, that's okay. You can carry on later because you're getting to keep all of your cards to take home. Teacher Wes isn't going to collect your sheets. You keep these. So if you haven't quite finished, that's okay. You can colour later. You can finish later. But it's almost time to wave goodbye to our friends.
the pitches are all very good you're all very good drawers I think we've got a few artists this is an endangered animal dugong sorry color yeah but now color later because we're going to say goodbye okay ready to say goodbye okay welcome back to class and we hope your students have had fun drawing their animals and deciding if they are extinct or endangered so guys what are the two types of animals we've learned about today we have ready extinct animals and endangered animals okay extinct means none left all died already endangered means there's still a few left on the planet but not many so they are in danger okay so can we all turn and wave and say goodbye to our friends on the camera Bye-bye.